Alright, so now that we've disassembled everything, we have an empty gearbox shell. So for the reassembly, we're gonna first going to start with the trigger. Now, your trigger is going to look different than mine because this is actually a AWS MOSFET and it replaces the original trigger assembly that's in the gearbox. But it should install just the same. So you're going to go ahead, slide in your trigger, make sure it sits flush in the gearbox, and then you're going to screw it in. Okay, let's say you got that screwed in. You're going to go ahead and flip it over. And then we're going to put in the selector plate. So the selector plate has the rails and basically you just want to slide them into the slide it into the rails. Like so. And then it'll stay, so you can just flip it over and then we're gonna install the the yaw bar. Basically they'll just fit right above the trigger. You just screw that in. what your gearbox should look like now. This should be able to move up and down by the way. Okay, so next we're going to do the safety lever. Uh, the safety lever has three parts. It has the long stemmed flag looking thing, it has an arm, and it has a spring. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to put the flag through the back and then flip it over. And then now you're going to want to put the spring so that the short end the short end is 90 degrees upward vertical along the wall of the gearbox so that it has something to push against. Just simply put it over there. And then you're going to install the arm with the hook with the hook facing upward. And then you're going to want to slip it under the spring and onto the other part of the flag. Alright, so if you have it incorrectly, this should be moving like so. Go ahead and screw it in. through the little grooves that the gearbox has and then just use like a screwdriver or something to poke them through okay just like that and then next we're gonna go to the gears now, I'm going to take the big round gear, I don't remember exactly what it's called, and then we're going to put it in the first most left slot. Now make sure when you put your gears in you have everything properly shimmed as well. Shimming is super important. Alright, and then once you have that in, you're going to want to put in your cutoff lever. The cutoff lever is just going to go right here but you need your spring with it as well. The spring will just loop over the front of the cutoff lever. And go ahead and put that in. And then the second gear that you're gonna put in is the smallest one. And that is gonna go right under but make sure when you're putting in the gear, you hold the cutoff, you hold the cutoff lever forward, and then you put it in the gear. That way, it catches on. And then you put in your last gear. And then now you can make sure that the gears mesh well and that the cutoff lever works. So just kind of hold the cutoff lever down so it doesn't pop up and spin it and you should feel that the cutoff lever, it won't, 
your gears won't be able to move if you spin it clockwise. They should only spin counterclockwise. Alright, now that we have the gears in, I'm gonna go ahead and do the trigger. Now you're gonna take your trigger and the spring. You wanna thread the spring through the hole in the trigger. Actually, it'll probably be probably easier if you take out that last gear. Oops, make sure your shim doesn't come out. Put in the trigger. Make sure the spring and the trigger sit in place. You gotta probably have to hold it in and then put that gear back in. And then lastly, you're gonna need to put in the box clip. The way you're gonna do that is you're gonna have it facing, the fat end is gonna be facing vertically. And simply put in the spring And then put the box clip so that the spring goes under the fat end. So you should feel tension if you try to push the box spring down. And then now that everything is in place, you're going to go ahead and close it. Make sure and use a screwdriver and make sure that all your gears line up to the holes. Just kind of wiggle things around. There we go. Alright, and then go ahead and screw everything back together. So remember the flat headed remember the flat headed screws will go in the bottom holes. The short round headed screw goes on the left side, the indented side of the gearbox. So remember, short on the left, long one on the right. You can just kind of make sure your gears work by spinning them. They should mesh properly if you have it shimmed correctly, so they shouldn't wiggle back and forth too much. The spring that goes on the selector plate and the yaw bar. You put it into the selector plate first and then take a... I find easiest to the flathead screwdriver and then pull the spring back and just try to get it onto that yaw bar. Once you have that spring set in place, you're all done.